Hello everyone. Last week I shared with you uh, my trading plan on the Euro Japanese yen currency pair and today the day has come for me to make a quick uh, recap on this plan. Uh, in this video we are going to cover uh, the idea behind the plan. Uh, we, we will also look at uh, some opportunities where you could have open uh, trades on the market. I wasn't able to share with you uh, live signals based on this plan, but I can say that you had some great opportunities on it. And uh, last but not least, uh, we are going to talk a little bit about my future expectations for the currency pair and uh, the price movements in uh, during uh, this week and uh, the following few weeks. Now, uh, you, have, you can see that I already upgraded, uh, but, uh, you know, we are staying in front of computers all day, so uh, stay ahead of your health, uh, keep yourself healthy, and uh, keep rocking the markets. Let's talk a little bit about the plan itself first. Uh, what you currently see on the screens is the uh, plan posted on TradingView. Uh, this is the H4 uh, chart and uh, you can see where the price was uh, when I posted the plan. Uh, the idea behind this plan was that uh, right here the price has reached this uh, very strong weekly support area 1 and as you can see we already had a bounce from that area and a short uptrend. Uh, over here reaching to that decision level uh, which was the level where uh, I was expecting for the price to either bounce from and uh, return to that weekly support area 1 or even uh, the weekly support area 2 or if this level was broken I expected for the price to reach this daily resistance area here or even further up to this uh, last resistance and uh, last stop over here. Now let's see what happened on the plan itself. As you can see uh, we had a short bounce from this decision level after that it was broken uh, the price consolidated for a while uh, right here on top of it and then continued to move, move up and currently almost reached this uh, daily resistance area. So uh, the plan fulfilled itself uh, perfectly. Uh, let's check out the live uh, chart and see uh, all the possible entries you had. Now first I'm going to cover a few possible entries on the H4 time frame. Uh, let me just mark where the plan was posted. You can see with this triangle. So um, as you can see here we had a bounce from that decision level and the price uh, here formed uh, something like a spinning top and then started going up. So uh, one of the positions you could have taken here on the H4 was on this candle right here and placing your stop loss uh, below those candles here, this last bottom. Uh, actually this uh, down move here was a correction to this uh, uptrend move. So in this case uh, we can consider that since the price uh, didn't make a lower low uh, we can consider it being uh, now in, a, in an uptrend so uh, that's why I would have placed an entry here. After the price broke out of this uh, uh, above this decision level uh, you can see that it formed a small square formation, uh, basically a consolidation right here. So uh, the second opportunity for an entry was after the top of this uh, consolidation was broken on this H4 candle. Again you could have looked for uh, possible entries on this uh, drawdown uh, which uh, on the lower time frames the price entered into that consolidation but as you can see on the H4 uh, the buying pressure was stronger and the price was pushed all the way to here so again a good entry uh, would be here since you still have uh, some good room for the price to move and make you some good profits and you can place the, 
stop loss of both trades just below uh, the decision level. As you can see, all of those trades would have worked out uh, quite good. Uh, if you go down to the H1, uh, you can find even more uh, possibilities. For example, uh, one I see immediately is again this square over here and sort of a consolidation exactly at the decision level. So this huge break, uh, let me just change the color so uh, you can see better, this huge break from this area uh, is a strong confirmation that the price is ready to move uh, past that decision level and continue further up. So a good entry would be also here. Uh, as I said, here at the pullback, uh, on the H1 you could have entered earlier, somewhere here, after the price bounced from this uh, sort of a consolidation against square formation formed here. Uh, and, I'm sorry, and uh, again, uh, on the H1 I can see a possible trade over here on this top. You can see how the price uh, went up right here and uh, made a correction which actually stopped uh, exactly on this square formation. Then we had another move up uh, making a higher high and then a correction which stopped at this uh, previous top here. So again you could have uh, entered, let me zoom it so you can see it better. You could have entered somewhere on this small candle here or since this is not the perfect confirmation, even on this big one or somewhere in uh, the middle of it. Uh, still here, uh, your entry should be with a lot less investment as opposed to over here or over here. Uh, but still it's a good uh, day trade and you can expect for the price to reach a little bit further, probably uh, 30 to 40 pips more. So those are some nice profits. Now, uh, those were the positions and places you could have taken advantage of. And uh, as you can see, you could have made some good profits. I hope you managed to catch those. Uh, sorry, trading view is being slow. I just want to say a few words now about the uh, future of the price movement and what we can expect uh, in order to look for more possible uh, good entry points. But I'll switch to the H4 time frame uh, since our main plan is on the H4. I don't know why the H4 isn't loading, which is very, very, very strange. So finally the H4 has uh, loaded and we can continue with my future predictions on this pair. You can see how strong this uptrend is so far. Uh, I delete every I've deleted everything so you can see better and we can draw a few things. Uh, first thing first. The uptrend started from down here, from this weekly support area. And you can see that already uh, we had some nice moves. Uh, at this point, I don't expect for this uptrend to continue much longer. Uh, I'm quite certain that uh, sooner or later we will we'll see a correction, especially uh, as now the price is uh, getting close to this daily resistance. Now, uh, this correction uh, might occur, as I said, really soon. And my expectations would be for it to reach uh, somewhere around here. Uh, usually, as you know, those areas, uh, levels are not just uh, levels, they're like areas like this. So I would wait for a possible correction, since it's kind of too late to enter into uh, the long side, you can either look for a sell trade uh, over here with a target uh, to, uh, this area where I believe the correction we went. And from here, you can look for another buy trade uh, deeper into the daily resistance or 
uh, hopefully even further up all the way to this uh, resistance zone above this daily resistance. So a uh, few opportunities might present uh, to us throughout this week and probably next week either to look for a sell opportunity somewhere here when the price uh, touches this daily resistance or if you miss it to look for buy opportunities down here uh, of course there is the chance for the price to break this area over here which would mean that the uptrend is long finished and uh, we are already looking at the downtrend in this case i would recommend uh, to wait for a correction here since i believe that uh, if a new downtrend forms uh, we'll see uh, bounce from this decision level which we uh, talked about in our plan and after uh, this uh, correction has finished you can look for a sell trade somewhere here uh, all the way down to the weekly support area where the uh, previous uptrend started those are my views on this currency pair uh, i hope you managed to make some good profits on this plan as you saw uh, there were quite a few opportunities and uh, the plan worked perfectly i hope the uh, future predictions and future planning on this pair also works uh, good I will uh, look at it closely, I will monitor it every day and I will update you with live signals uh, in our Telegram channel if I spot one. Uh, but it's up to you, uh, keep looking at the plan, uh, keep looking at the scenarios and keep looking for great and profitable opportunities. Thank you very much for your attention, uh, check out my plan from yesterday and our team wishes you a profitable week.